Yes, in this demonstration, uh, we will be discussing about antenna modeling, uh, especially the topic of interstitial equivalent sources. Uh, we will see this in particular next slide. Equivalent source is a numerically equivalent. Uh, uh, it may be simulated or measured of a complex source. And because of this, you, by using the equivalent sources, one can get the huge uh, computational savings uh, when solving the complex problem. Uh, we can, there are many ways of perform using the equivalent sources. One can use the near field source, spherical mode source, also far field, far field point source or solution coefficient source. Here in this particular demonstration, we will be using the far field point source. That means we will be taking the radiation pattern of an antenna and using an impressor source at a specified point in space. That means we will simulate the real antenna and get the radiation pattern and from the radiation pattern export a particular radiation pattern to a far field file ffe file what we call native ffe file format in fico that particular file will be imported into the cad fico again in a separate session and used as a source that ffe file will be acting as a source in lieu of real antenna and try to get the far field pattern from the far field source and this particular radiation pattern will be exactly the same as the a real horn antenna. That means that we no longer need a real horn antenna uh, in our analysis. Let us jump on to the demonstration uh, to look into this particular uh, example or uh, demonstration part. Let me launch the CAD FICO file. Uh, go to the CAD FICO. Uh, let me create a new model. Yeah, as usual, I'm going to go to the component library future. One of the native features of the promising features in uh, prominent features in CADFICO is the component library. It has a lot of antennas that are available in this particular component library. I would like to use the horn antenna pyramid for this particular example. Then, of course, I will be using a 1 giga H for my analysis. And then, I will be using the single frequency. Then, let me add to the model. Of course, I have my horn antenna. I added into this particular uh, simulation. Then let me export the far field pattern FFT file. Go to the advanced tab in this far field request and, and just uh, export files to ASCII file. You can see this FFT file. That means you will be having your file available in FFT format. Okay. And then once you have this particular one, then we can we have everything was set up. Then let me mesh the model. I'm going to mesh the model, and after that, I would like to save this particular model. Okay, I would like to have this particular thing in the on antenna, spherical mode source, sorry, far field source, and then let me save it to the on because it's a real antenna again. I'm going to use the on antenna real. Then let me go ahead and solve the FICO solver. Okay, I solve the FICO solver. It won't take much time. I am trying to solve the real horn antenna to get the far field patterns. I got my far field pattern over here. Let me go to the post FICO session and plot the far field pattern for the real horn antenna. Okay, I will just go ahead and plot the far field over here. Let me make it visible much more elegant way okay let me make a db scale and result in this great fashion okay okay you can see over here this is such let me save this particular model yeah real horn antenna let's save it because and also let me go back to the folder and look into the far field uh, file whether it generated the far field file or you do see these are all the files that are relevant to the cad fico and post fico files and this is the extension file .ffe. that's what we are going to use as a source and this is the file which will be uh, as a, acting as an equivalent source for us in the CAD FICO session. Let me go ahead and launch the CAD FICO session, new CAD FICO session so that uh, we can use the equivalent source now of that particular file, create new model. First, we need to bring the data file that is available Go to the construct tab, construct tab in the main ribbon, go to the field data over here and define far field data 
and I would like to bring the power field data into over here. Okay, I know how many points I got. I got 37 theta points and 73 theta points. In case if you are not sure about how many points you requested, you can open the file and look into this particular file. Number of theta samples you can see is 37. Number of these samples is 73. And also you are working at 1 giga H. This is the data file which you had. Okay. Once you have this information, I just plugged in those things. Create. I have this particular thing. Then go to the source or load tab and use the far field source. Okay. And you see over here the little tiny sphere. And that we got pulled it. We know that it is working at 1 giga H and click OK, then go to the Request tab and request the far fields for this particular one. See the pattern, create, okay, and that should be good. Let me tag this as uh, on antenna far field source, so that I will be knowing I can distinguish both the files on antenna far field. Let me solve this particular problem. Okay, I solved it already and this got solved. And then I go to the post FICO session and let me plot the far field of this particular antenna because this is the, just the data. We no longer have the geometry or something. We just had the data over here. And I would like to plot the far field. This is little bit scaled up. I need to I need to zoom out this particular thing and go to the view option in the ribbon and I would like to zoom out so that we can look into the far field pattern better. Let me make it uh, clear. Okay, okay, can make it 60% or 20% so that we can see the source as well as the pattern. And let me go to the pan view so that I can arrange this appropriately so that we can see the entire picture. Once I have this particular thing, I've got it already. I would like to bring the real antenna, a horn antenna, so that I can compare the results. Because we see over here, I got the real horn antenna, I got the equivalent source horn antenna, equivalent source of the horn antenna. Then I can plot the, what I can call polar plot so that to compare the radiation patterns of the both the real antenna and the far field antenna source okay this is my real horn antenna i got the let me make it select the db and data wrapped and of course then i would like to plot the far field source you can see over here this is exactly matching with the real antenna that's why i could not have to distinguish between both these two antennas. So what I would like to know is I would like to change the marker style. I would like to use the format. Okay. You see here both the real on antenna and the far field source. The results are matching. That means we can use the far field data as a source for our further analysis. Let me go back to the presentation slide and look at the see we have the real antenna who we would be able to one can replace the equivalent source okay that's what we have to file then you can see over here we simulated the real antenna we got the far field patterns and from the far field request we requested the ffe file native ffe file and we used that native ffe file in the calfico session and we obtained the far field pattern so that one can use the FFE file source far field source in the view of the real antenna to perform the analysis. You see over here all the results are matching very well. Both the results are matching very well. They're in very good agreement and we no longer uh, we may not require the real antenna for the complex analysis problems or something like that. We just need the far field data for the analysis purposes. This saves us a lot of computational time, etc. Okay, thank you. Hope you enjoyed this demonstration.